My YouTube crew, what to do? TJ305 here, back with another video. Um, and today's video, I got another defensive tip for y'all, man. Another heater, another screamer. Hit that quarterback in the mouth, man. Tell him stop playing with me, man. Um, as always, I tell y'all, I am doing half of the job, giving y'all the pressure. All you gotta do is take it to the lab. Lab it up, put your own stamp on it, and do your thing with it, man. Um, once again, I want to say I appreciate the support. The channel slowly growing. Yo, know, this has always been my dream, so hey, dream come true. Appreciate the support, y'all. Um, this play, man, you really don't even got to do much, man. Like, I think this play is actually better than the LB cross three I showed y'all out of the regular 335 normal. But this time, being a 335R, man, this play is ferocious. The heat is ferocious, man. Like, it's going to get in there in less than three seconds, man. Cannot block a running back going there because you're still going to trigger him from the other side. It's just some um, nice heat, man, for y'all. Try to help y'all win some more games. I got the offensive schemes coming. Now, I don't really got a lot of one-play touchdowns, but... I just got some schemes you can run that should help you be able to win more games. Um, um, before we get into the video, let's try to get a video to 524,701 likes. I know it sounds crazy, man, but with the help of y'all, I know we could do it. I know we could do it. I know we could do it, man. As y'all know, I don't like to hold y'all too long with these videos. So, without further ado, let's get right into the play, man. Name of the play out of the nickel 335R is the LB Cross Show 2. And I actually think the corners and safeties play better than they do with the 335 normal. This is, I had some people asking me in the comment section what playbook this is. This is my custom playbook. If y'all want me to um, share it in the um, share file sections, y'all let me know down in the comment section. I'll share it. Y'all can go download it and do what y'all want with it, man. Pick it apart. I will be adding some more stuff to it as the year comes along. I'll be trying out different formations, add some different stuff to it. But as of right now, it's, it's real simple, but... We're going to add some more stuff to it as the year go along. We're still early in the year, man. Matt only been out for about three, four weeks, man. So everybody really still trying to figure out the game. You still kind of have a grasp on it by now. Uh, what you want, what kind of player you want to be in Matt 20. But a lot of people just not getting the game, still getting the game. You still going to have a big bunch of people that ain't going to get the game until probably Christmas, like all the kids and teenagers and all that. So we're still early in the year, man. I'm just trying to give y'all some heat, man, to help y'all be able to win games, man. So, y'all know I do not like to hold y'all too long with the videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the play. LB Cross Show 2. As always, y'all know I'm going to give y'all simple setups. All you got to do is place the line, press, spread. Crash out. Blitz your slot corner. Put this guy. This guy right here gonna be a user. You don't gotta hover. You ain't gotta do nothing. Just you can take a couple steps over this way, steps over that way. Depending on where you step at, it'll trigger double edge pressure. Then this is how your play art should look right here. You can really worry about this side because that safety down there, back there, is gonna um come down and help you guard the middle on that side so you can stay to this side and um this is your pressure look right here oh we trigger fourth fumble we're gonna go down for the sake of the video Vaughn could have took that to the crib forgive me for that vibration y'all hear my second controller matter of fact let me try to take it <laughs> let me try to take it down to somewhere where y'all won't hear the vibration or my bed or something 
So once again, this basic line press, spread, crash, vicious slot corner. Do whatever you want with him. It's gonna be a user though. You can man him up, you can put him in whatever zone you want to, man. Just take it to the lab and lab it up. All you gotta do is probably just take a couple steps to the left or the right, whichever way you want to go. You'll get pressure just like that. Just like that, man. Simple. Untouched to the quarterback. Race line, press, spread, crash. Vicious slot corner. Put him on whatever zone you want. I'm trying to trigger the double edge. Let's see if I step this way with a trigger. You just gotta find that sweet spot. Boom. He gonna come in automatically, but Vaughn to come in too. I'm trying to trigger it. Race line, press. Like that. Trigger that. And if, it's a, if you're in the fourth and long situation, you really ain't even, you can just go back and use that safety. You could just send everybody. And then let me switch off of him. I never really tried this. I just thought of that though. Uh, then you'll get him looping. You'll get him looping. Vaughn could have took that to the crib, as right? you see. We're gonna go down though. For the sake of the video. That's if you wanna get that looping linebacker. If not, then just do it like I told you the first time. Place the line, press. Press him. And I'm gonna use it. We're gonna put your fastest corner, your fastest outside linebacker. Let's see if we can step one step to the left. Uh. <clears throat> I was labbing it up before. I was getting a double edge, but I tried to stand in there. You're going to get pressure. Because if you try to pick up the corner, then you're going to get the linebacker coming in. So it's a line press. I put him in the zone. I did. Some nice edge pressure, man. Put your back to the corner right there. Press line press. So y'all again. I don't think I blitzed my corner that time. Press line press. Yeah, I did. Put him in his own. Step to the left a little bit. Mm. You get just a nice edge pressure, cause you a lot of, cause you a lot of fumbles. For guys not expecting it. This line press. Put him in the zone. Still got good coverage behind it. So it's really like a five man. Really just center five. One, two, three, four. Uh, probably six. Uh, there go the double edge pressure right there right on cue as we're about to end the video <laughs> we get a double edge pressure I say you're not going to get the double edge pressure all the time but you're going to get your edge pressure guaranteed man so right on cue as we're about to end the video we get the double edge not really double edge mine just shed it that time it just shed it that time but when I was labbing this up, I was getting that corner and Vaughn Miller coming in untouched. So you want to put your fastest corner, your fastest outside linebacker right there. It's the type of double edge pressure you would get. Two guys attacking the quarterback. Offensive line looking around, looking around like they don't even care. So um, take this thing to the lab, lab it up yourself. As always, man, TJ305 here, man, just trying to help y'all win more games. Make sure you like the video. Comment on the video. Subscribe to the channel, man. Let's keep the... Oh, excuse me. Let's keep the growth going, growing. Let's keep the growth growing, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, um, TJ305 here, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Y'all be blessed.